Apple Watch was designed to help people stay active, motivated, and connected so that they could live a better day. In fact, last quarter, Apple Watch grew over 50% compared to the previous year. This is incredible. The number one watch in the world. But those stories are so moving, and there's really no words to describe what it feels like to receive these notes. I'd like to thank everybody in the video for sharing their personal experience with all of us. And today, it's the most used heart rate monitor in the world. And we were making enhancements to the heart rate app to give you more information. Now, you'll see your heart rate right on the watch face so you can keep an eye on it with just a raise of the wrist. And the third thing we're doing is focused on heart rhythm. And that can cause problems. The most common form of serious arrhythmia is called atrial fibrillation, or AFib, and it affects tens of millions of people. In our initial studies, Apple Watch has been effective at surfacing irregular rhythms. So we're expanding that work, and today, we're announcing the Apple Heart Study. This study is being conducted in partnership with Stanford Medicine, and we're working closely with the FDA, and they've been great to work with. It will be available to all Apple Watch customers on September 19th the next generation of Apple Watch. Introducing Apple Watch Series 3, and it has cellular built in. This, this has been our vision from the very beginning, and we believe built-in cellular makes Series 3 the ultimate expression of Apple Watch. You can use maps and get directions, and the location for Find My Friend automatically switches to your watch when you're away from your phone. Because with Apple Watch Series 3 and Apple Music, you can stream 40 million songs on your wrist. It's really, really fast. Siri is quicker than ever, and thanks to the new processor, for the first time on Apple Watch, Siri can talk. And we've added a barometric altimeter. Rather than add an antenna, the display itself is the multi-frequency antenna for both LTE and UMTS. So instead, we integrated an electronic SIM, and it's a fraction of the size. <laughs> the only difference is we extended the back crystal a mere 0.25 millimeters. That's as thin as two sheets of paper. Hi, Deidre. This has been a very tough assignment, but you know me. I'm a team player. Yeah, that's you, Deidre. Give, give, give. Well, Series 3 comes in a wide variety of cases and bands. We have a beautiful new gold aluminum finish, along with silver and space gray. For Apple Watch Nike Plus, we have exclusive new colors, and they're releasing a new version of their Nike Plus Run Club app, with some wonderful colors across all of our bands that you just have to see in person. So that's Apple Watch Series 3, cellular, GPS, swim proof, 70% faster dual core processor, uh, barometric altimeter, all the features of Watch OS 4, and it still has all day battery life up to 18 hours across a mix of LTE. There's one with cellular at $399 and a version without cellular that has all the other great features at just $329. And availability will be September 22nd. That's the update on Apple Watch. And now back to Tim.